Max Verstappen in his 11th pole of the season. He's never had more in one season. He's also converted the last 14 poles consecutively into victory. Contrast that with Charles Leclerc, who starts alongside him on the front row of the grid of his last 11 poles. He hasn't converted one of them. Lance Stroll's uh, best result in qualifying session since he took pole in Turkey in 2020. Fernando Alonso's best result at Interlagos for 10 years. Oh, oh dear, that's Charles Leclerc, and he's gone off already and into the barriers. And this is at Ferradura, at the horseshoe, on the formation lap. Wow. The man starting on the front row alongside Max Verstappen is out of this race. That is disaster for Ferrari. No, I lost the hydraulics. I lost the hydraulics. Why the f*** am I so unlucky? Why the f*** am I so unlucky? Sure, when were you first aware of the issue? When I lost the steering wheel and that I went straight basically because, yeah, I had no hydraulic anymore. I don't think it's a hydraulic problem. I mean, I know what it is. I cannot go too much into detail. Then there was an engine um, thing that made me lock the rear wheels and then obviously I spun and hit the wall, so uh, I couldn't do anything. So Lance Stroll's got a very clear run, as has Fernando Alonso. Five lights on. They've been held for a long time. It's lights out, away we go here in Sao Paulo. Great start from Lando Norris, already alongside Fernando Alonso. Max Verstappen into the clear and it's contact. And that looks like Alex Albon. And there's also the Haas of Kevin Magnussen. And there's a tyre that's come off as well. And two cars, I think, out of the start there. And Charles Leclerc not even starting. But Max Verstappen leads them down the retro Posto. And following on behind him is Lando Norris in second place. Then comes Lewis Hamilton. And then the Aston Martin of Fernando Alonso. Then Lance Stroll. They're all slowing down now for the safety car, which unsurprisingly has been deployed. They've red flagged it because there's a huge amount of debris uh, to clear up. So we've waited 25 minutes then uh, since the red flag uh, to see when we can get underway again. And the cars are now finally leaving the pit lane. It's lights out, away we go, and they weren't held as long this time. Landon Norris gets away well, but so does Max Verstappen, and so does Lewis Hamilton. Round the outside, a little bit of a look up there from Hamilton as he tries to get past Lando Norris, can't do so. Verstappen leads from Norris, then Hamilton, then comes Fernando Alonso, George Russell, and Sergio Perez is down. The retro poster they go. Alonso's picking up a slipstream behind the Mercedes. He's going to try into this corner on the inside to get past Hamilton, and he does so. It's Verstappen from Norris. Alonso and then Hamilton. Verstappen today aiming to become the first driver to win 16 Grand Prix in a season. He's won 14 of uh, the last 15 Grand Prix. But let's see the Lando Norris charge uh, behind him. On the main straights we go. Two tenths down, half a second. He's picked up Lando Norris by the time they get towards turn one. Lando Norris trying to go around the outside, almost alongside Max Verstappen. But now, how can he live behind the Red Bull? How much closer can he be coming out of the curve of the soul? Now the DRS is open. Here comes Lando Norris. He's going to go wheel to wheel with Verstappen. Verstappen's got the inside line. Ooh, got him. And there goes Sergio Perez on George Russell. He's been trying to mount this attack, has Sergio Perez for a few laps now, and he's got past Russell, but now Russell can try and get the slipstream and re-overtake and re-pass into turn four. De Cena de Lago, wheel to wheel they go, Russell is ahead, he'll try and slam the door, but Sergio Perez is through in the Red Bull. Uh, the bull has bolted before Russell could close that one off. As Perez gains in the slipstream, getting the toe from Lewis Hamilton, uh, it's a faster car in a straight line, even before DRS. Perez is going to go for this down the inside. Perez does go for this down the inside. It's the sort of move we've seen Lewis Hamilton pull off time and time again here at Interlagos, but this time he's on the receiving end as Sergio Perez makes his way up into fourth place. And at some stage, there they go. We'll see him on the track as Hamilton tries to fight back again. Perez has that line covered off, goes a little bit deep into the Cedo de Lago, uh, but as he takes a more regular racing line, uh, Hamilton's still behind him and they're perilously close to each other. Is Hamilton going to try around the outside of Ferradura? Don't see many overtakes there. Eventually Martini has to concede the battle.
Russell was wide in turn 12 yeah. there. He's lost the DRS. He'll be under big pressure from the Ferrari at the end of this straight into turn one. Yeah, Sainz is that much closer at the start of the straight. And by the time we get to the middle of the straight, he's alongside George Russell. And by the time we get to the end of the straight, he is ahead of George Russell. Carlos Sainz has taken seventh place. And there goes Carlos Sainz earlier on on the Retro Aposta. Carlos Sainz is poised for attack here and poised and ready. Picking up the slipstream, switches to the outside. Carlos Sainz makes that look very easy indeed. Hamilton saying he's starting to struggle with his tyres. Carlos Sainz taking advantage. He dispatched Russell. He's now dispatched Hamilton. He's up into sixth. George Russell really struggling uh, out there at the moment. Last year's winner. Soon to be, I think, running ninth here. And it's no wonder Toto Wolff hasn't got the uh, happiest expression on his face that we've ever seen at a racetrack. Russell, look at, look at the way that Mercedes struggling for traction, getting out of Jun Sao as he tries to get the power down without too much wheel spin, with trying to stay on the line that he wants. And here comes Gasly, and Gasly is alongside and past George Russell, who's lifting and coasting well before uh, the braking zone there. And Gasly up to eighth, and George Russell now... <laughs> In, in, in danger of dropping down a tenth in a bit because Yuki Tsunoda is that much faster than him. Here, Here go. goes Pierre Gasly on Lewis Hamilton. It's, it's not even a contest, is it? The Alpine on the Mercedes there. Gasly breezing past. And George Russell, who's just been overtaken by Yuki Tsunoda, Ted Kravitz has been told to retire the yeah. car. Fernando <laughs> Alonso absolutely uh, neck and neck with Sergio Perez, and he just held Perez off uh, going through uh, the uh, Senna S's. But Perez, has he got the speed with the DRS to get past Fernando Alonso into the Cedo de Largo? Alonso did a little jig towards the left there, and uh, just forced Perez to back off a little bit. That's as close as this battle's come, and they've been raging this battle for about six or seven laps now. Sergio Perez, meanwhile, uh, will try once again to find a way past Fernando Alonso, and he's closer this time. He is, and his turn 10 worked a treat, and his turn 12 puts him closer. This is the closest we've been. So if he's eight tenths behind through the detection point, he hasn't got past Alonso. This time, he was half a second behind Fernando Alonso, and this time he is gaining on Fernando Alonso, and a rapid rate of knots. Is he going to go for it down the inside? He is going to go for it down the inside. Sergio Perez takes third from Fernando Alonso. Patience rewarded for the Mexican driver, and finally, the move was there for him, but now he's got to defend, because Alonso's picking up the slipstream. He wants to go to the inside. Perez move left, then move right, and he keeps Fernando Alonso at bay. We're coming to the end of the penultimate lap for those wanting to be on the podium alongside Verstappen and Norris. And you just get the feeling Perez is going to blast into the distance here. Uh, not quite far enough, but we've got DRS surely. But uh, is it enough to get anywhere near the back of the Red Bull for a final lunge? We're homing in. He's coming, is Fernando Alonso. Is he going to go for that final lunge here? Not quite. Will he do it down at Decido de Lago, which is the next straight? Yeah, because Perez got a little bit wide into turn one, put him out of position. Alonso's got a chance down the back straight into turn four. Here he goes, got the slipstream. Perez moves to the left. Fernando Alonso goes to the right, and Fernando Alonso gets that podium spot back again. Wow, this is brilliant racing at the end of the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. And one thing you can always guarantee, Fernando Alonso never, ever gives up. This man never gives up his thoughts, his aspirations and his desires of winning. And it's Max Verstappen for a 17th time this season who wins the Sao Paulo Grand Prix fireworks on November the 5th. And Verstappen does it again. Lando Norris comes home to take second place. It's another runners-up spot. It's another great race from Lando Norris and McLaren, but this isn't over yet. A drag race up the hill we've got now. What can Perez do? Can he get in the slipstream and beat him to the finish line? We've seen this before. Gasly and Hamilton once upon a time in the uh, Interlagos race, but this time it's Alonso ahead of Perez. Perez has got DRS. He's gaining. The checkered flag is there, and it's there for Fernando Alonso to take the third place ahead of Sergio Perez and the margin was less than a tenth of a second. If my maths is right, I think you have just overtaken Ascari. That's a record from 1952, mate, in terms of percentage wins in a season. Yeah.
Yeah, we did that. That's we all another, did that. <laughs> another historic one. See if you recognize this. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, I'm not a good singer. I uh, like to uh, listen to it. Of home. Let's go. The old house, the old house is, still is still standing. The pain is cracked and dry. And and dry. <laughs> Well done, mate. Radio Rebel. <laughs> Something new we can start. Just don't give up the day job. <laughs>